Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome to my favorite class of the week. So we're gonna take it easy tonight. Find a comfortable position to start. Make your way into cross-legged or on your knees or whatever feels best. And we're gonna start our meditation today with the Ganesha Mudra. So clasping the hands, just the right hand with the palm facing your heart and the other facing away. And bending the fingers, clasping the hands, pulling slightly, but relaxing the shoulders and keeping the hands in front of the chest like this. And then close your eyes and we'll take a few deep breath here. Relaxing the shoulders and relaxing the face. Ganesha is uh, the removal of uh, obstacles in the Hindu tradition, Hindu religion. So it's a quite a powerful pose. Let's take another three long breaths here. Settling your mind and giving a rhythm to your breath. And then relax the hands on the knees. Hello Martina. Good. With your next inhale, let's raise the arms overhead, stretching up. And exhale, bring your palms to your chest. Let's bow the head towards the hands, open the eyes. Namaste. Good. Relax the hands. So today the mission is to stretch the entire body. So we'll start by placing the fingertips each side of your hips. So fingertips are just on the floor and you're using this position to lift the chest, lengthen, grow tall. And then with your next inhale, I'm gonna mirror you. I'll try, I promise. Lift your right arm up. And exhale, lean, walk your fingertips a little bit out and then lean towards the left. <laughs> Breathe here. You can gaze up towards your hand or you can gaze down. Feeling what's best for your neck today. Keeping both hips heavy. And then come back up, inhale. Keep your right arm up and then use, use your hand to hold your left, left side of the face, left temple. Then let your head drop towards the right. Keeping your other hand on the floor, kind of pressing away a little bit so that your shoulder draws down. And then draw the chin towards the chest. Lift your chin back up, move your head hand towards the other side of the face and push your head back up. Good. With this right hand now, place it on your left knee and move your left hand behind you for a twist. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, look over the right shoulder. Lower belly drawing towards the left, chest drawing towards the right. Feeling the squeeze around the waist. And inhale, coming back to center. And exhale, relax. Place your hands to the sides again. Lift the chest, draw the shoulders down and grow tall. And then lift your left hand up. 
Exhale, walk your fingertips away with your right hand and lean towards the right. Again, choosing what you want to do with your head. And keeping your right shoulder relaxed and away from the ear. And push your head down, lift yourself up again. Bend your elbow so that your head, head is on the right side of your face. And then let your head draw closer to your left shoulder. Keep drawing the right shoulder down, left shoulder is relaxed. And you're not pulling on your head, it's just the weight of the hand that's helping create some intensity in the neck. Now draw the chin down, feeling the stretch travel towards the back of the neck. Lift your chin back up, move your hand towards the left side of the face and bring your head back up. Good. Move your right, left hand towards your right knee and right hand behind you. Inhale to lengthen, grow tall. Exhale, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center and let's relax. Good. If you have a block or a little cushion, you can grab it. If you don't have it, don't worry, you can do without. If you have it though, place your feet on top of the block or cushion. Knees spring to the side, hands behind your hips, and then push into the hands to lift the hips up and shift the hips closer to the feet. Bring your hands a little bit closer to you if you want to. Lift the chest, relax the hips, let the feet open and allow the knee to come closer to the floor. Keep an idea of lightness around the lower spine. So kind of lifting the pelvis up ever so slightly. Engaging the glutes slightly, engaging the lower back so that the front of the hips can release. And relax, good. Let's move the either the feet forward or the, or the hips back slightly so that you're, you've got a bit of a wider angle in the legs. And that will allow the spine to round and drape over the legs. Bring your arms forward. You can even maybe have your hands under the leg if that's accessible. accessible. And let the forehead come towards the feet. You may use another block if you have it to rest your forehead. Or you can just let it hang in space. Very good. One more breath here. And then slowly unroll the spine. Move the block, blocks even to the side. Carefully place your feet back down, knees back up. Good. Give yourself a squeeze, a hug for a moment. And then cross the ankles and come to hands and knees. Very good. Awesome. From your hands and knees position, spread your fingers wide. Knees just under the hips. Inhale to lift the chest and lift the hips, stretching the front body. 
and exhale to round the spine press the tops of the feet down the shin bones inhale curve and exhale round one more inhale curve and exhale round back to center inhale Tuck the toes, exhale, lift the hips into your downward facing dog. Pressing the hands down, drawing the elbows closer to each other, drawing the heels towards the floor, maybe pedaling your feet, just finding a nice, comfortable down dog as much as possible. We'll move on to a low lunge. So you're welcome to Bring your right hand forward, uh, closer to the left, and bring your right foot all the way up. Or if you prefer to come back to all fours, and then bring your right foot forward, that's also good. And place one hand on your right thigh, place the other hand on your right thigh, and come upright into your lower lunge. Inhale here, press your hands down, lift the chest, and exhale, draw the hips slightly forward so that you get the lovely stretch to the front of the left hip engage your glutes here and lift the chest on your next inhale raise the arms up and exhale interlace the fingers behind your lower back lift the chest up inhale and stay here on the exhale maybe lift the gaze slightly straighten the arms bring your hands away from your lower back Beautiful. Release the hands, inhale, raise the arms. And exhale, hands spring your front foot and then move your hips back so that you can straighten the right leg and lift the toes of the right foot up. So walk your hands out under the shoulder or if you prefer, you could have the hands forward and find more length in the spine. All we want is a stretch to the back of the right leg. Engage the quads on your right thigh. The front of the thigh is firm. We're lifting the kneecaps up to engage the front of the thigh and allow the back to release. Then flip the right foot back down, bend the front knee and come back to your downward facing dog. Lift the back knee up and step back. Other side. Left hand comes closer to the right, left foot comes forward, right knee to the floor. Left hand on your left thigh, right hand on top, lift the chest, inhale, press the hands down, exhale, hips forward. Good, yeah, Martina, bring your forward foot a little bit back, bend the front knee a little bit more. Good. Mm -hmm. On your next inhale, raise the arms up and exhale, interlace the fingers so the opposite thumb on top this time. So your what comes naturally, do the other way, basically, changing the arrangement of the fingers slightly. Lift the chest, inhale and exhale, settle into the pose. Hands away from the lower back, chest opening. Legs are strong to stabilize you. And then release the fingers, arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands down, stepping back to your downward facing dog again. Let's move the feet away from each other, toes pointing out, bend the knees and walk your hands back, hips down to Malasana. Coming to a comfortable squat, Heels can be lifted and you can use any kind of support that you need. Maybe keeping the hands on the floor and lifting the chest. Or if you're stable here, raising the hands into a prayer position. Whichever variation you're using, the arms are inside of the legs. And take 
another two breath here. Very good squat, well done. All right, bring your hands back to the floor and drop the knees down, bringing feet slightly closer together. Back to the cat cow here. We're back in the tabletop as you inhale, curve the spine and as you exhale, round the spine. Two more, inhale, exhale. Moving with the breath, inhale and exhale. All right, coming back to neutral. We're going, we're going to come to Gokulhasana from this position. So forward closely. We're going to lift the right knee up and tuck it behind the left one. So crossing over the left, moving the feet away from each other. And you might need a block here or two. So keep them nearby. Walk your hands back and basically sit between the feet. And you could be sitting on a block here if you need to. So sitting back and we've got the knees more or less piled up, the feet to the side, looking good. If this is not happening for any reason, the entrance was a little bit awkward, you can do it also from a sitting position with the legs straight and bring the left foot on top of the right and kind of slide it towards your right hip. And then maybe, maybe not bending the other leg and bring the right foot close to you as well. All right, wherever you are, you should be in Gomukhasana <laughs> or a shape close to it. Hands on your knees, spine long. We're going to add a little bit of shoulder stretch. Eagle arms, arms stretching forward, then uh, place your right arm on top of the left and hold your opposite shoulders. That's option one, drawing the shoulder blades away from each other, elbows coming forward, feeling the stretch between the shoulder blades. Option two, we bring the back of the hands together. Option three, we wrap the forearms together, the fingers of the left hand inside the palm of your right hand. Hands away from the face and breathe between the shoulders. And then release the arms, give a shake to the shoulders and we'll add a twist. So keeping the legs as they are, let's turn towards the left. Right hand on the outside of your left leg, left hand behind you. Lift the chest and gaze towards the left. If you find yourself leaning back a lot here, you can also wrap your arm behind your lower back so that you don't have to lean on the floor and you can keep a straighter spine. Now let's come back to center, hands down, and we're gonna unwind all this. So coming back to all fours, moving your right leg a little bit towards the right again. And we're just moving the hips a bit. Let's do the other side. Left knee behind the right. Moving the feet apart, maybe using your block, walking your hands back, or you could come from the seating position if that was easier for you. I'm going to sit on this and then you bring your, should have your right leg on top of the left now. Good. Okay, good. Side by yourself, long spine, and we'll do the other side with the arms. Stretch your arms forward, left arm over right, and choose your variation. Maybe just holding the shoulders is enough today, that's fine. 
all wrap the arms together. Hands are away from your face and elbows are away from you as well. And breathe. Sending the breath just between the shoulder blades, feeling the stretch just with your breath. Looking good. All right, let's unwind the arms, give them a shake. And then let's twist towards the right. Right hand behind you or along the lower back and left hand on the outside of your right thigh. Lift the chest and look over the right shoulder. Very good. Coming back to center with your inhale and exhale, let's release. Come back forward again, on your all fours, unwind the legs, move your hips from side to side, and give them a shake. Hopefully you were feeling it on the outside of the hips here. <laughs> all right, let's come to a toe stretch, which you know well if you've come to our stretching together. So let's tuck the toes here and start walking the hands closer to the knees and sitting back onto your heels, coming upright. We'll stay here for one minute. If it's very tough, you could have something under the knees. Yeah, a little bit less pressure. Or you could lean forward a little bit so that you don't have so much weight onto the toes. Or you could also sit on the block between the feet instead of on the heels. Good. And just breathe here. And yeah, you could do any kind of shoulder stretch you want to do. Maybe one side, maybe the outside of the shoulders. Or again, opening the chest or rounding the spine. Anything that keeps your mind busy. <laughs> Let's take another two breath here very good and let's release place your hands down relax the toes and then sit, sit back onto your heels for a counter stretch so you could kind of point your feet and hold your toes in the opposite direction that we've just done. One foot and the other, especially if it was pretty intense. And let them relax. Move your fingertips back and lift the chest up. Just opening the chest once more. You can never have enough. Let's release. All right, let's come forward onto our belly for our last shoulder stretch. Coming all the way down. Stretching your right arm to the side, not higher than your shoulder, so keep it in the T shape. And then we'll roll towards our right side. So the palm is facing down with the right hand and you're using your left hand to press yourself to roll towards the right. Right, uh, right side of the head can be on the floor, you can relax it down. Your legs can be stacked on top of each other, or you could have your left foot back. And coming back to your belly, move your right hand close to your chest and stretch your left arm out in a T-shape, still checking that it's not going too high, it's in line with your shoulder, and then roll towards the left. Back 
side to your belly. Move your left hand close to you again. Forehead to the floor. Relax the arms. And you roll onto your back. Any way that's easier for you to roll onto your back. Good. Let's bring the knees towards the chest. You can just offer a hug for a moment and roll from side to side. Take a nice long breath in. And exhale, side out. Stretch your legs, stretch your arms overhead and give yourself a full body stretch. And exhale, Shavasana. Find your Shavasana position for a couple of minutes of rest so that we integrate everything that we've done today. Allow your breath to slow down. body to settle feeling the energy running through the body and resting your awareness on your breath for a few moments Let's again take a long inhale and a sigh out. Bring again your hands and your feet, sway the head. And maybe if it feels good, another full body stretch. Bring your knees to your chest. And roll to the side, pressing yourself back up to a seating position. Taking your time to get there. Keep your eyes closed, your shoulders relaxed, spine really nice and long. Take a moment to notice how you feel at the end of this practice. And thank yourself for practicing today, for taking this time out of your day to look after yourself. And the next inhale, raise the arms up, stretch the fingertips up, and exhale, hands come to your heart. Let's bow the head towards the hands, open the eyes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaste. Have a lovely evening and see you very soon. Thank you for practicing with me.